Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Gemini. How are you guys? Before I get started, I just want to let everyone know who keeps asking um, of the tarot cards I use. The links are down below under the video. <clears throat> so just hit the little arrow under the video, it drops down. You can click see more and scroll down. They're down there. I put them up every week, all right? So you can check them out or purchase them if you wish. Uh, for all of you who are looking for singles love readings, I put those up every Monday. I put some up on uh, last Monday and I will next. So you can check out my playlist. Hopefully there's a message there for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you. Overall energy. This could be any aspect of your life. Take it how it resonates best for you, Gemini. Clarity for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Clear messages and guidance. Or Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? All right. Something to do with a house, a home, commitment, building a foundation. Beautiful. There's a reason to celebrate, Gemini. Ooh. Very nice. Maybe taking a little bit of a risk or it's someone coming towards you, taking a leap of faith, going off on a new path. Ooh. Something is making you happy. Oh, something you've invested in. Some of you have put a lot of money invested in a house, a home. So you may have an investment that's paying off. Nice. I see Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Beautiful. This is someone who knows what they want. Okay. Uh, definitely. I see you're having, this could be yourself. You may have some of that energy in your chart or you're just in that energy. It could be a person coming towards you. Okay. Uh, but I do feel it's about investments. I'm waiting for the right time, hoping this investment pays off. So I feel like you're very focused on something. You are taking a pause, a little bit of introspection. I see a little Pisces energy. Sort of taking a little pause before you take a leap of faith to do with investing in something. Interesting. Yeah, I see something very sweet. Beautiful. This could be maybe just sort of reminiscing a little bit. Uh, when things were simpler sometimes, you know, the days gone by, a little introspection. This could be some of you thinking of investing in a relationship. Some of you may have children, okay? You may be taking a little pause there, wondering if you want to invest in that situation. So I do feel there's this energy of a leap of faith. It's about reflecting on something, maybe a past relationship. Uh, but I do see a reason to celebrate. Something really positive here. Beautiful. This could be yourself, like I say, or another person. Let's see what's going on here. Gemini. Oh, yeah. So you're definitely been working really, really hard, investing a lot of time, effort, being patient. Some kind of investment's about to pay off. So I feel something's about to complete. So you may be completing something here to do with a house, a home. Uh, you've invested a lot of time and energy, a lot of creative energy, and I feel like you're taking a little pause. It could be just taking a break, maybe with your children. Ah, oh, I see a hermit energy. Yeah, a little, a little of that soul-searching energy. If you have a person who's coming towards you uh, and they have children, you may kind of pull back. I'm wondering if you should. Um, some of you kind of been there, done that. <laughs> But something is coming to completion. You're putting something behind. But I'll tell you, you are not giving up, okay? You're definitely no quitter. Uh, love that energy. I see a little soul searching, a little Virgo energy, kind of looking for clues and answers of whether you should, uh, you know, let something go, give up on something, or work on it. But I see you as not quitting. Uh, and I feel that there's someone around you that sees you that way as well. Lovely energy. Gemini, yeah. So this could be yourself or another person. Flip it whichever way you need, whatever resonates. Some kind of investment's about to pay off. And I do think maybe you're ready to invest in a house and a home. You're waiting patiently for the right place. Uh, maybe, you know, it's something uh, that works for your children if you have children. Somebody here, I, I feel as though there's somebody who wants to approach you. And I do feel like they're crushing on you. They may have children. You may not be in that frame of mind. I can see that energy where you've kind of done it before. You're not really sure if you want to invest in it. Okay. Yeah, I can see that scenario too. So let's grab one more card for Gemini. There we go. Ooh, you got a couple here. So, yeah, so I do see someone's coming to courting. Yeah, someone's courting. They want to court you, date you. 
coming towards you yeah tempering their passions and emotions this is somebody who oh and i see an offer a seed some of you may be getting an offer on a home okay i see something there as well uh you may be putting an offer in on the home but someone wants to date you and they're tempering those passions emotions or uh, trying to come in with that temper this is i also see an energy of something different trying something different uh, that you're invested in as well so this is a nice energy too so i feel like you kind of you got kind of were about two minds about something here and i do feel there's this energy of being patient i do feel there's an offer coming in now this could be a new job a new career but i see the courting card you may have somebody who's kind of checking you out <laughs> Yeah, it could be another person, but I feel like this is yourself soul searching, uh, putting something behind. You put a lot of work in. You're coming. Something is is uh, paying off here, okay? And I do think you're going to have a reason to celebrate. So it it looks really positive. An offer it could be a job offer. It could be someone wanting to date you. In fact, it could be both, because uh, I do see something about commitment to marriage, and I also see a financial foundation, uh, waiting patiently for some kind of investment to pay off here. Wow. Should you invest? Shouldn't you? Should you go for it? Should you not? Yeah, it has to do with committed relationship. I see a Taurus energy. So it's an energy of keeping the faith. Okay. It's also an energy about two people being on the same page, the same path, uh, if you want the same thing. So a little caution there. Yeah. yeah. So it, I do see you keeping the faith, though. <laughs> Yeah, school of higher learning, right? Back when things were simpler, when you were young, you may have a new crush, somebody wants to date you. They may be kind of holding back, looking at different ways to, you know, offer you this pentacle to plant that seed. So tell me about this fool energy. Why is this here? Oh, yeah. So there is definitely this release, some kind of a decision about investing in something. Now, this could be a negotiation, a contract to do with the house, a home. Should you invest or shouldn't you? I feel like you're looking at things from a different perspective. OK, um, I, I feel like it's telling you just keep it simple. You may be looking for something simple to um, to invest in. OK, it could be a business, a house, a home, but it's a big decision. So I do feel there's this relief. You know, I feel like there's going to be a relief. I, I do, because I feel as though uh, whatever you're doing, you're keeping the faith and you're going to make the right decision. So have faith in yourself. OK, yeah, beautiful energy. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles energy. There we go. Yeah, so you are kind of stuck. You're saving money. You're kind of just sitting there. You're definitely in protective mode. You're looking out for yourself. So I do feel there's an energy of kind of not budging uh, because you're in protective mode, protecting your money, investing, trying not to put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, I can see that too. So you're holding on to some, but you want to invest in something. Wow. So I do think you're going to be looking at something simple. Uh, if you have children, you definitely, that has to work. So you're looking at things from a different perspective, definitely. Uh, Queen of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah, very passionate, very creative, someone very sexy. <laughs> I think you got someone checking you out here, someone crushing. They want to approach you. I, I do feel that. I feel this is somebody who doesn't really want to give up. Now, this could be an energy with someone who kind of feels like you've given up too, okay? But I do see a courting card. So, yeah, we're going to see where that goes. The hermit, someone who's, you know, it's a spiritual journey here as well. It's like, you know, it's about that path in life, you know, tempering those passions and emotions. Uh, so I think someone's coming in kind of tempered. <laughs> yeah, they're going to try something different. They see you as different than your usual type. As far as a house, a home, or investing, you're going to try something different. You're going to look at things differently, okay? So if you have looked at a house or a home, you may go back and look at it again and see it from a different perspective before you put in any kind of an offer. Yeah, I think you're looking at something a little simpler here, but I do feel like, you know, you're saving some kind of money. You're holding back, not putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, you're thinking about emotional fulfillment, the future. You're very passionate about something. You know what you want. You're not settling. Uh, so you are definitely wanting a place that's maybe sunny and bright, place like you're happy, like when you were young, you know, maybe your childhood home. You're kind of doing a little reminiscing there. But I see a crush as well. So, yeah, someone's crushing on you here. Yeah, I don't know, though. I feel like you're in a very independent energy. I do. And I feel like you definitely aren't a quitter. 
Um, I feel like there's somebody who's crushing on you. They feel like giving up, but I do think they're going to come in. Okay. Yeah. I see a couple, a couple storylines here. Yeah. There's some kind of change. You may change your mind about something. Uh, I do see something new. Ooh, you got someone around you in your energy uh, as well. So there's something new starting and I feel it's a new house, a new home, someplace where you're happy, someplace sunny. Uh, like when you were young, but I do think you're looking at something simple as long as it's sunny and you feel happy there. So you're looking for a vibe, I feel, if you're looking to buy a home or relocation. Um, but I do see you kind of changing, going through some kind of change, changing perspective as you. I think you're going to look at a place a couple times as well. <laughs> you know what you want. You're very passionate. I do feel like you're very creative. If you are buying a home, uh, you're going to put your own creative energy into it. Okay, and I think you're looking at that energy as well. So really nice. But you do have a reason to celebrate. There's a negotiation, a contract, something here uh, to do with this decision. So look at all negotiations, contracts, anything you're signing, uh, jobs, houses, homes. Look at it clearly and make sure nothing changes. Uh, if you start something and then you kind of... Um, decide not to go with it and then all of a sudden decide to go for it make sure that nothing has changed in that contract okay but i see you changing your mind about something here and i do think you are ready for change uh, and something new beautiful and i do feel like you have a new person coming around you as well yeah this is about investing here putting something behind everything you work for and investment paying off you're moving towards emotional fulfillment some of you too i kind of got this energy you're not sure if you want to invest in um, possibly a relationship, someone who's courting or dating you. I feel like you're kind of pulling back, looking at things different. You've gone through some changes, okay? Um, but yeah, I do feel like there's someone coming towards you here. And this is someone who doesn't want to give up. They want to invest. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Tell me about this hermit. Yeah, someone's looking for clarity, looking for some kind of truth, looking for answers. I see a lot of creative energy. I see this energy of success so there's someone here who i feel um you may have walked away from somebody too and given up maybe you were waiting for someone to come around and start something you feel like you got a few things going on but i see someone coming towards you coming in with the truth wanting success looking for clarity oh yeah you've got a couple situations going on see your energy as well sort of chasing something so make sure you are decisive make sure everything is clear before you sign everything, take your time and patience to look at things carefully before you hand out any money. But I also see an offer coming towards you as well. I see somebody wanting to date you. They're kind of in a rush. Uh, they're decisive. They're coming in with that truth. They want to have success. So you got a person who's been doing a little soul searching here. Uh, someone's definitely interested in you. So it does look like a new crush as well. Yeah, someone is very sweet on you interesting enough tell me about temperance why is that here there we go yeah somebody wants to build something with you now this could be a contract a negotiation uh, where you're patiently waiting for something to work to build something if you're thinking of building a house laying a foundation watch your contracts okay make sure you stay in your power stay in your power stay in control okay uh, to do with that creative energy lovely some of you may think about buying a home and flipping it as well and then buying something else you see oh yeah i see a couple investments here but i feel like there's something to do with timing uh, i feel like you're just about completing something here some kind of maybe a contract or a job something's coming up uh, and you're going to or you're walking away but i do see victory and success i see you becoming decisive and clear about what you want in your decision making uh, about building something this could be a job um, something you're building but it's also perfecting your craft um, by being patient um, doing things right making things sure things are perfect <laughs> you're being quite particular here yeah you're definitely chasing something down here oh i see a taurus virgo capricorn energy yeah you got somebody here uh, making you an offer i feel like this is could be somebody you've worked with in the past who is uh, coming towards you to communicate, coming in to speak a truth. They're looking for answers, okay? This is someone looking for clarity, the truth in a situation uh, to do with work. So there is something to do with work here. This could be a boss, a negotiation, okay? Uh, that ten of pentacles, or ace of pentacles. And this, this is someone who's planning something to build something. So this could be somebody making plans, building something for you. Uh, could be to do with work. This could be a boss, so someone very grounded, very practical, a bit of a perfectionist. 
coming towards you. But I feel like this is energy. This could be yourself too, but it could be them. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do see some Libra energy here. I do see some uh, Leo energy as well. But I see that sun, that new beginning, some kind of change. So this is a lovely energy. Somebody may see you as different than before or you're looking for something different. Okay, interesting. This is somebody who wants to build something. They want to, um, you know, they want to build something. They are perfectionist. Someone perfecting their craft, you see, planting that seed. They want to do things right. They want this to work. So this is interesting. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Who is this person? Gemini. Oh, yeah. Gem they have Libra in their chart. Uh, I feel maybe Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person's in, in an energy. Um, someone is up in their head doing a lot of thinking. So there's some kind of healing. This is about respect. It's about faith. Uh, this is someone here who's letting go of something. So there may be someone who didn't have a lot of faith in something. Now, I don't know it's whether you don't have faith in this person to build what you want. Uh, I feel like you're trying to be very patient here. Uh, but I do see this Aquarius and Libra. And of course, your energy, Gemini. Uh, to do with letting go of something. So they're letting go of something and making a solid offer, okay? Something is being planned. It could be somebody building something for you, planning. This could be a love interest. It does look like you have somebody who uh, wants to start something with you, someone crushing on you. It could be someone you knew a long time ago when you were young, back in the days when things were simpler. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a crossover of energies. It looks like you've got a few things going on. But this is a card about loving yourself first, valuing you. Someone sees your worth and your value. Now, this could be to do with knowing your worth to, with a job, that someone sees it. Okay, I think someone does. They're becoming very clear. They see your worth and they see your value. Uh, they Someone is seeing you differently. Or it's just an energy of, of tempering, uh, just taking your time building something. Someone is being a perfectionist here. Um, Someone is seeing you perfect. They may be changing their mind. If you are building or buying a home, I do see something to do with building and working, creating, uh, perfecting the craft and being patient. Okay. So you may be in a little bit of a rush with something, but I feel this is someone who's a perfectionist. They're planning. They're sensible, practical. This is someone who kind of looks into the future. Uh, this could be financial planning as well. Uh, so I do see the star. I like the star. This is your hopes and dreams. Uh, so I do feel there is a love interest. This is that hopes and dreams here. Somebody is seeing that, you know, they're keeping the faith. They're becoming very clear. This is someone very wise and very logical as well. Ooh, tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is to do with reciprocity, equal give and take here. So I do feel there's this, uh, something here with you uh, becoming very clear before you rush into something, knowing exactly what you want. Okay, you may be putting out more money than you wanted with somebody here if you're building something. It's also somebody who uh, needs to give. So if somebody, if you are building something with another person, make sure they're reciprocating. They put in the equal amount of work and money. Make sure you're not doing all the work, okay? Yeah, so I do feel like there's this energy of anxious and patience here to do with reciprocity, uh, wanting to get something going, but it's telling you to temper your passions and your emotions to just be patient. Oh yeah, you got an opportunity here somebody here it could be someone you worked with uh, who's waiting for the right time to offer you something oh my goodness yeah so there is some reciprocity here you may not be 100 percent sure how you feel about this person or this situation it's possible uh, to do with a relationship energy or somebody new coming into your life okay it could be somebody coming back around possibly uh, but i do see you going through some kind of change and seeing things very clearly uh, I think some of you are ready for change. You're ready for something new, uh, something sunny, something bright. Uh, I see a little reminiscing about your childhood home, uh, that emotional fulfillment. You're looking at things from a different perspective. And I like that energy. It's that little bit of pause, not rushing, making sure you're very clear. And it's also getting your point across, speaking your truth too. So interesting. Yeah, I see a little Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, interesting enough. Yeah, you got there's someone here who sees you as a star. Okay, uh, very much. I feel this is someone who's uh, thinking about an offer offering you something. I feel this person's being very logical. They're strategizing a little bit here about this offer. So this is uh, quite a lovely energy. So temper those passions. Don't try to rush into anything. Make sure they reciprocate. 
And don't make sure this person gives you what you want as well, okay? <laughs> Making sure you get what you want here. Nice energy. So let's, whoops, there we go. Deep dive. Yeah, diving into a task, you see. Uh, so there is something emotional here. Someone's taking a deep dive into their memories, reminiscing. Uh, they're gaining some kind of clarity, some kind of insight. So yeah, beginner's mind. Yeah, you've got a new beginning here. Ooh, someone's kind of going back to the beginning. So you do know who this person is. Uh, interesting enough, straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Yeah, so this is someone here who's just kind of in between something. And it could be yourself. Um, leaving one place behind, moving to another, to something new. You're kind of in between. Uh, it could be in between jobs. But I feel it has to do with this person having faith. Okay, having faith in themselves, loving themselves first. This person could be somebody quite well known uh, in an industry, okay, as well. Somebody very financially stable. So they may be making you some kind of offer. So this is your hopes and dreams, okay, of getting what you want that they reciprocate. So uh, it's telling you to temper your passions. I do feel there's some kind of offer. This could be a work offer, a new opportunity for a fresh new start as well. So this is beautiful. Yeah, I see joyful uh, must. So I see inspiration. So feeling very inspired. I see music. I see lively energy. So something is moving forward here. Uh, something very joyful that you have a reason to celebrate. Something really positive is about to happen. So I see winter's dream. There's a little bit of a gestation period, okay? So it's about being patient, waiting for this to manifest, okay? Taking your time, a little bit of transformation because there is that between two worlds, okay? There's something um, about, a t about timing, about the right timing, okay? About putting something behind, no longer investing in it. So it could be somebody who's ready for change to start something new. They may be putting something behind they were invested in that's not paying off. Now it's too much work. They're feeling pretty beat up. So they may be heading towards you. Now this could be a job thing, a house thing, a relationship uh, situation. So that gest gestation period is interesting. Uh, so don't rush. Don't panic. Don't, don't stress out. Uh, I feel as though this is uh, you have an opportunity for a fresh new start. Uh, I see ancestral wisdom. That's trusting your intuition, keeping the faith, all right? Uh, it's all about integrity and morals, okay, with that four of wands. I see some kind of commitment or marriage here, uh, possibly for you in the future, but I see you holding back in protective mode, kind of a little bit stuck. There may be something you need to let go of, or it's this person. They may need to let go of something that they're invested in. I do feel like someone is saving money, and I do feel like it's it's to do with yourself holding on to something, not putting all your eggs in one basket, okay? Uh, I feel there's a few different storylines, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Let's see this emotional fulfillment. Falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy, yeah. So there's somebody here who's definitely... Um, whew, something is, there's some kind of change here to do with the past. Somebody here... Uh, this is that fallen angel. This is somebody who's done something they shouldn't do, okay, or they keep doing the same thing, okay, uh, but it's time for change. It's time for something different. So, yeah, somebody's definitely going through something here, a little shadow work more than likely, uh, the falling angel, yeah, something very spiritual. Someone's on a bit of a spiritual journey. Now, this could be a lot of different things for uh, this person and I do feel this is someone who's letting go of something they're releasing something old relationship baggage uh, whatever it is that's keeping them stuck okay uh, so I do feel there is somebody here that you knew a long time ago or maybe lived near your childhood home uh, that's been or been crushing on you but this is that spiritual issue somebody has kind of fallen okay and I feel like this is somebody who's about to pick themselves back up again. You see, they're no longer investing in something. Uh, they're waiting for the right opportunity. They're letting go. This person's had a very tough time. But i got to be honest, I feel like it's something they kind of do to themselves. Okay? Yeah. A bit of a spiritual journey there. It could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people here. One more card, and then I'm going to do the timing. So, yeah, sky writing the fate. So something is faded. It's meant to happen. Uh, someone's on a spiritual journey. They see something faded here. Uh, 
interesting sky riding air energy looking for signs someone's looking for the signs okay to do with a faded connection Ooh, something is meant to be and i do feel it has something to do with you uh, a new job a new house, a home, a contractor negotiation as well, as well as a new offer, a new emotional offer, a fresh new start to build something right from the bottom up. So it's telling you to just be patient here. Uh, whoever this person is, they need to kind of deal with something. And I do feel that they're starting to kind of see the light here, gaining some kind of clarity to do with this offer. Uh, it's a healing energy, but it's also that wish come true. This person sees you as someone, you know, that they're wishing for. But they have to let go of something. They need to learn to love themselves first and value themselves. Uh, I think this person does see your worth and value. I do think this person, uh, wow, this is really crazy energy. Uh, this person definitely sees your worth. Yeah, don't let pride get in the way. So this person has a lot of pride. Okay, full moon in Leo. Somebody else got this card as well. That's that energy, that new beginning, a full moon. Something is becoming very clear. This person does have a lot of pride, okay? A little ego maybe getting in the way. Uh, and then I see um, emotions are running high, super moon. Wow. So there's definitely something emotional here. Um, somebody's emotions are peaking. They're becoming very clear. They need to let go of something. This is, some of the, this is the hopes and dreams. And this person may be hoping you're going to give them an offer, but I think it's yourself too. Uh, this person's letting go. They're going through some kind of purging here. Um, so what do you need to release? So there's that energy of what do you need to release on the waning moon? You can check that out for the next one. You can Google any of these. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gemini, the gibbous moon. Who And I feel like it's this person as well. They're letting go of something. It's a healing. There's some baggage, old relationship baggage. Um, this is really cool. So I like it when people uh, get up in their head and they start to think logically, okay? This person's looking for clarity. They're strategizing um, this energy, you see. They're looking back at this energy. So you definitely have a person who's um, thinking about you uh, a lot, okay? Yeah. So this person may be thinking maybe it's a, a reconciliation. I, it's hard to say. Um, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of that. Maybe up here a little bit. Okay, this person coming in to take a leap of faith. Okay, yeah. Somebody's definitely in protective mode though. All right, so we have a key. There's that ship wheel. Cycle ending and new cycle beginning. I see a kiss and some lips. Uh, I see uh, a dolphin, so some playful time. Yeah, all work and no play. Somebody's working a lot here. Uh, I do see a key. So there's a key here. It has either the key to a new house, a new home. Uh, I see this pair of lips, the kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something very sweet here. Yeah. You got someone crushing on you here. Or it's somebody you knew a long time ago who's coming around. They may be relocating, moving back to your neighborhood, to a sunnier place, but it's new. Uh, and I see the key. I think you got the key to someone's heart here. And I do think the key to this is this person letting go of something uh, they're holding on to. And I do feel you definitely investing, not putting all your eggs in, in one basket. Look at all contracts and negotiations to do with your financial foundation, a house, a home, or a commitment. Uh, look at it very clearly, okay? So interesting enough, Gemini. Beautiful. I see the dolphin. I see some playful times i see the ship's wheel things going in your favor and i see this kiss so oh this could be somebody who's you know always wanted to kiss you never did <laughs> could be a first kiss as well so take care you guys i wish you the very best and we'll see you soon